In this video we're going to take a look at expanding double brackets. Um, so again we're being asked to expand, remember that all that means is to multiply out the brackets. Now when we've got double brackets we can think of this as being similar to the long multiplication of expanding. We are multiplying a plus 2 by a plus 5. And so what I'm going to do to answer this is I'm just going to set up a table here. Okay, so I'm multiplying a plus 2 by a plus 5. Now I've got this little grid, like I say, like long multiplication, I'm just going to multiply each of these terms together. So a multiplied by a, that gives me a squared. Then I've got a multiplied by positive 2, that gives me positive 2a. Then I've got positive 5 multiplied by a, that gives me positive 5a. Then I've got positive 5 multiplied by positive 2, that gives me positive 10. Now, all that I then need to do is I just need to collect these together. So write each of these out first. a squared plus 2a plus 5a plus 10. And then I just need to collect the liked terms. So I just need to collect the a's together. Plus 2a plus 5a, that's going to give me plus 7a. I haven't got any other a squareds, so they have to stay separate. I haven't got any other numbers to collect together, so that 10 stays as it is as well. Remember that you can only collect a's with other a's. You cannot collect a's with a squareds. They are different things. So 2a plus 5a, that's giving us a 7a in the middle. And so our final answer would simply be a squared plus 7a plus 10. Okay, let's take a look at our second example. Again, set up a grid, and I'm going to times y plus 5, and I'm going to multiply that by y minus 2. y multiplied by y gives us y squared. Y multiplied by positive 5 gives us positive 5y. Then I've got negative 2 multiplied by y, and that gives us minus 2y. And then minus 2 multiplied by positive 5 gives us negative 10. So minus, remember, minus times a positive gives us a negative answer. So collecting all of these together, y squared plus 5y minus 2y minus 10 and then I just need to collect the y's together so I've got y squared stays as it is there's no other y squares to collect it with plus 5y minus 2y so positive 5 minus 2 that's going to give us positive 3y and then I've got just on the end negative 10 okay last one I've got t minus 8 t minus 2 so again, set on up a grid, and again, just multiplying these things together. So t multiplied by negative eight, uh, sorry, t minus eight, and then t minus two. T multiplied by t, that's going to give us t squared. T multiplied by negative eight gives us negative eight t. Negative two multiplied by t gives us negative two t. And then, careful with this one, negative 2 multiplied by negative 8. When we multiply two negatives, that gives us a positive answer. So we get plus 16. So writing this out, I get t squared minus 8t minus 2t plus 16. And then collecting the like terms together. t squares, there are no other t squared, so that stays as it is. Then I've got negative 8t minus 2t. That's going to give me negative 10t. And then I've just got plus 16 on the end. There are no other numbers to collect with that. So my final answer would simply be t squared minus 10t plus 16.